episode number 11 uh, how you can start working as a freelancer so hope you enjoy this session so let's start it and uh, so I have the, uh, got some stats that uh, there are 53 million uh, people working and building around 715 billion uh, worth uh, US dollar worth income to US economy so these are the coming from freelancing freelancing means uh, they have an a specific job other than that they start working as an, a freelancer so uh, normally the these are the some basic categories which you can start as a freelancer like writer uh, writers get uh, around uh, 58 to 82 dollar per blog and uh, the second one is a designer designer would get around 52 to 90 dollar per hour so these designers digital marketing programmers uh, marketing guys based, get paid based on uh, hour basically okay so uh, writers uh, basically get based on the per blog so these blogs uh, content would be around from 1000 to 1500 words and uh, programmers get uh, paid around 63 dollars to 180 dollars per hour basis of the tasks they doing then comes marketing guys uh, marketing guys get paid around 43 to 52 per hour then uh, you can even start teaching online uh, through uh, as in a freelancer they uh, get around 20 to 28 dollar per hour even you can start managing other people's social media account and you can become a social media manager and you can get around 20 to 25 dollar per hour basis so now what are the pros and cons of uh, uh, working as an, a freelancer so let's talk first about the profit thing so what are the pros but the first pro is uh, you are your own boss you are the one who is going to decide uh, when you wanted to work what time you wanted to work so it's a kind of freedom lifestyle so you can decide how much you wanted to work and when you wanted to work so that helps uh, that give you uh, power to work uh, on your space your time so that's the one biggest thing if you are starting as a freelancer and then second thing uh, uh, working as a freelancer you can make some extra money uh, you already have a job you are working already but extra two hours working as a freelancer that going to give you some extra amount of money which you can use for any uh, your personal uh, use or any investment or you can go for the trip you can plan something you can go for a, a lunch dinner anything what uh, some extra amount of money you can use other than your salary so that you can uh, put on yourself to enjoy your life so that's the thing uh, working as an, a freelancer it's not necessary to work 100 percent as a freelancer you can work as a freelancer in a part time also then uh, the uh, third pro uh, what I find is uh, you can get uh, very much life and work balance uh, there are so many people who working very hard from 9 to night 9 12 hour rigorous job but uh, they are not getting that much out of it and they are not happy they are not healthy they are not uh, uh, feeling happy from themselves so when you start working as a freelance you may you uh, required work for 9 to 5 job after that you go just work for 2 hours and start earning something on your own behalf so that gives you an freedom and work-life balance work-life balance with you if you are in a uh, married person you can have a best life balance with your life balance with your wife and husband so those are the gifts power you to uh, start working as an, a freelancer so if you are working as a freelancer these are the things will be going to help you these are the some pros and there are some cons and uh, uh, so what are the cons is there like uh, first thing there is no job security if you are planning to go for 100 percent about this so i think there is no any job security some of the uh, months you will be having so much tasks to do and some of the months you won't be able to get too much tasks to do so your uh, consistency is not there so it's very inconsistent uh, when you are starting as an a uh, freelancer but uh, i always recommend to go for as an a freelancer working with your job so it's uh, we are doing an msi system msi is multiple source of income so this is going to be your one of msi part of msi you are not going 100 percent on this you are working as an msi system so these are the these cons will be going to help you out with that now the question is uh, how you can go and win a project there are so many people are there who's uh, uh, bidding these things so how you can do that so first thing you need to brand yourself so before without branding yourself as an expert you can't get a quality clients or you can't get a, a project to win easily so how do you uh, 
brand yourself so branding is a very specific target niche uh, if you are wanted to work with a particular niche if you wanted to work with a fashion niche if you wanted to work with a travel niche go and brand yourself for that particular thing so how to brand so branding comes from the end a small initial like uh, go for in a photo shoot do a photo shoot for yourself make yourself look professional then go for your logo uh, get a professional logo for yourself if possible brand your personal branding do the personal branding because uh, the personal branding uh, convince more than a company branding people will hide behind the logos and uh, behind the company name so you can come front and tell the people what you do and what what is uh, you are going to offer them so that will increase the trust on you from the customer side so that will going to help you to win more process so work on your logo then you should have an a space on digital where you can send all your uh, leads the prospect there to go and see whatever the work you have done whatever the portfolio you are having so you can ask them to go and uh, watch them out so for that you require an a website on your uh, uh, digital space so create an a hub over there and uh, start putting your uh, profile and portfolio work start doing some work take some work on free of course if you don't have you are just starting at whatever task you have you go and put there on your website and cre- third is create your portfolio so a, a good portfolio with the quality uh, results actually going to help you to uh, win other projects also so that's the way how you can win those things so now let's talk about the how you are going to put uh, pricing when you are working as an a freelancer how you are going to charge that so first thing uh, why uh, what i suggest my student to go and do the market research what other people already charge you so you you can't uh, go and charge very high amount and either you also not wanted to go and charge the lowest amount you need to be know that what the market actually charging and if possible go and see what kind of work they have done what kind of task they have done and check out the quality of the work they have done so that when you pitch uh, with your quality you can tell them uh, the customer that why you are charging that much and wh- wh- why why you are looking for this much cost up for you working on the uh, this particular price so you can do the market research then there are uh, uh, three different basis you can charge on your client first is uh, hourly basis uh, how much hour you are going to work based on that so normally we uh, suggest you to charge around uh, uh, 10 dollar uh, because philippines are there uh, very much competitive on this market they go and charge from 5 uh, 5 dollar per hour to 10 dollar so you can start from a 10 dollar hours uh, and uh, char- start charging yourself for uh, work whatever the work you do i am especially talking about the digital space work like uh, start uh, working as an a social media manager or working as an a digital marketing seo sem sem so these are the tasks you start doing so if you are a content writer go and charge basis on the words so how much how many words you are going to write so like we have a set of freelancer who work for us we uh, pay them from like uh, in indian rupees we pay them from like uh, 1 rupees to 5 rupees per word so based on that uh, what uh, these uh, people getting charged and what are the commission they are getting based on the words limit so uh, if you are a content writer it's uh, good for you to go and bid on the word basis okay so then if uh, you are in a programmer and you are a developer you are a designer you can't go with the hourly basis where because there is no limitation of the hours on that task. so go for the project basis so charge uh, your client on the basis of project so and when you charging on project basis try to charge upfront something like 20% 30% 40% upfront before starting the work so you don't uh, depend completely on the when you finish that project then only you will get uh, paid so and uh, these are the things you need to put and uh, now how you market yourself so what what are the things you have to do to get uh, clients on the this digital space so first thing you should have some set of case studies so you, uh, make some case studies case studies is all about your success story how you took a business from zero to some amount so that is successful success story can be any small and a very big but you need to represent it uh, in a way that it look uh, good so make case studies get testimonials testimonial from your happy customers start networking so networking is one of the like uh, most important aspect when it comes to building uh, your freelancing uh, network so start uh, you know, go going on linkedin and connecting with the people in the same space who looking for that kind of services join the group where all these people were hanging out and start giving value first so uh, 
put your content there put uh, answering the questions the people are asking when you put the value you represent yourself as an expert on there go to Quora and answer the, all the questions which related to your field and uh, uh, get them back to your website where your portfolio is there your all those things there so people will come and see if they're interested in that particular segment they come and see and they will get converted into that uh, and these are the things are not the small like uh, quick money making kind of things you need to work hard you need to give the time to get result out of from it so that's the way you can do you can use a Facebook group for this also then uh, you can run advertisement based on free consultation so you can even you can uh, you can set up your funnel funnel based on video funnel or you can uh, put a free ebook funnel or free consultation funnel where uh, you run ad and ask a customer to get your free consultation book a call and do the 30 minutes call with that and uh, try to understand what uh, issues they are facing with business and uh, try to get in a solution what you can offer them to fix that problem so you can advertise also so these are the some marketing things you can do to increase your sales so now how to find work if you don't want it to go for the marketing don't want to do uh, as a brand so you have there are so many websites who offers uh, who actually work as an, a mediator between a uh, company and as an, a, a freelancer so those are the some uh, sites like uh, 99 designs upward freelancers fiverr and uh, people per hour there are so many sites where you can go and enroll yourself as an one expert and start bidding for the project so now when uh, you uh, win a project what to do next you need to work with the client so two things uh, one of the most important with the client client actually they don't know what they want and the second thing they are not uh, they don't know they are not very clear how what they want actually and what they can expect from you so it's your job to go and ask what exactly they want what exactly they are looking from you what the result they are expecting from you so what happens when um, client says that I want this and uh, you start working on the way and but client is expecting something else from you so it would uh, better you to go and tell that this is the going to be result if you are agree and uh, then fine you go and work and make sure you should get these things on retain because what happened when you work as a freelancer so many times client wanted to client is not get uh, client may not get satisfied uh, without with your result because he is expecting something else and you are delivering something else so make sure you get these things whatever he wanted and uh, uh, whatever he wanted ask uh, get it in written and uh, put into some like things like contract all those things so that you have an option to show them like this is what you asked me to do and this is what i finished so that will be going to help you out with the uh, working with the client and uh, giving a good value to the client then uh, if you're working with the client so how you get paid so there is uh, two different ways you can get paid not the two different ways but uh, you can get paid if you're working with any uh, these uh, network sites and uh, this mediator sites like 99 design all those things so they only going to pay you they work as a mediator so they uh, put the safety of all the freelancer as well as the company who is working with that but if you are not working like what happens you first project you win through this 99 design then you build a personal relationship with this customer now this customer will directly come to you with the project they don't go to there because uh, they have to charge some give extra service charges and you have also need to give us some extra service charges when they come directly you can offer them some discount also so on that case how you can go work with that client is there are the two options like if uh, a client is abroad you can go and ask the payment from paypal paypal is the best place to get payment and uh, second is uh, you can if you are in india you can use insta mojo or you can use your direct bank ask uh, them to uh, deposit the amount into your bank so these are the way how you can uh, start getting payment from the client so so working as a freelancer it's a like uh, opportunity for you to build one more msi for yourself to start earning income through working as an uh, freelancer i also worked as a freelancer earlier stage when i started my career so i was uh, like uh, these are the things what i felt like uh, issues which i felt uh, i came across so i just wanted to jordan down in the points and wanted to share with who are looking to work on that so that's it in this session hope uh, this session is useful for you and if you make an uh, you may go and start your own freelancing setup and uh, so that's it in this session so 
I'm doing a webinar on MSI multiple source of income to how you can build multiple source of income. My aim is to make at least increase your MSI like multiple source of income. You may having a job, you're working 9 to 5. So what else you can do to increase your source of income? How you can build multiple source of income? On that, I'm doing a webinar on every Tuesday 7 p.m. You can go and register yourself. For that, you can go to askbrickin.com and type MSI. So that's my messenger bot and that will give you a link where you need to go and register yourself or you can go to my website directly wikinair.com slash msi and register yourself. So uh, this way uh, when I go live you will get notified also and uh, hope I will see you guys there on 7 pm Tuesday evening. So that's it in the session. Uh, thanks for getting in and all the person who got live in thanks for watching and all the person who is watching this replay thanks for that. If you feel this is useful, share it across your friends, uh, contribute to the community so that more financial free individual will be generated through this. So thanks for watching, that's my aim, that's my goal, that's my vision to build one extra financial income for you. So that's it, take care, bye bye, have a nice day.